So I'm here at the Biotech Showcase today in San Francisco. I'm talking with 10X Therapeutics' Michael Jepson, the CFO, and Anthony DiTono, uh, the company's CEO. Uh, so could we get a little rundown on the company, see what's going on recently? Sure. So we are a company that is focused on uh, cardiovascular and cardiopulmonary uh, diseases, areas that have high unmet medical need. Right now we are enrolling patients in a phase two uh, clinical trial for patients who have pulmonary hypertension, um, and a specific kind of pulmonary hypertension. It's a, it's a very unmet medical need in as much as there are no therapies that are approved for this particular segment. Um, and it's the largest group, it's the largest group as classified by the World Health Organization in terms of, uh, of the unmet medical need. The molecule that we, uh, that we utilize is called levosimendin. It was developed by a Finnish uh, pharmaceutical company called Orion. Uh, it, it is a novel first-in-class calcium sensitizer. It also has cal uh, potassium. Uh, channel uh, activity, so it has a very unique mechanism of action. The, the drug has actually been approved in over 60 countries for acute decompensated heart failure. There's been over a million and a half patients uh, 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 that the product has been used in. So uh, while we, uh, you know, are early in the clinical development stage, there is a significant body of evidence that, out there. Uh, in the published literature that suggests that levosimendin is a very safe and effective drug in a variety of cardiovascular uh, conditions. Um, now, what can you tell us about uh, the drug's approval process right now? Well, we're, as I said, we're starting a phase two trial. The, the phase two trial will enroll 36 patients. Uh, probably over the course of, of 2019, so we would expect to have top-line data by the, by the end of this year. Uh, with that data, obviously, if it's successful, we would meet with the FDA to design a phase three, three program, uh, enroll and enroll that trial, uh, and then file for approval whenever, whenever that would be. So we're, we're still a bit away from commercialization but the interesting thing about this trial is it's a it's a fairly uh, it's a fairly quick trial. It's only 36 patients. The duration is only six weeks. Uh, so, and we have uh, already initiated uh, five or six clinical sites uh, to be potential investigators. Uh, these are uh, top-rated institutions around the United States, such as the Mayo Clinic. Um, Stanford University, uh, Northwestern, etc. So we, we, we have a highly motivated group of uh, principal investigators and we, like I said, we expect to begin enrolling patients this quarter. Okay, now will there be any interim results released or are we just going to wait until the end of the trial? There, 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 there won't be any interim results because the trial is so short that by the time we did an interim result, the trial would be fully enrolled. So. Uh, but even at that, we, we do expect to have top-line data by the end of the year, so uh, fairly short horizon to uh, some proof of, proof of concept. Thank you. Now, in regards to the recent financing, what is the intent for this, and where is it going to take the company? So recently we raised $10 million. Uh, that cash, combined with the cash that we had on hand, will take us uh, through the end of phase two meeting. So it'll clearly take us through 2019 and, and push into a quarter or so into 2020. So we, we have the funds uh, that are sufficient to fully enroll and analyze the, the data and also get some initial feedback from the FDA in terms of what the go forward program is while we, when we move into phase three. Okay, now in the future, are there any concerns with financing? I know for some of the earlier developing companies, there has been some stance for that. Uh, how is your company going? Well, um, you know, it's always, it's always, a, a, it's never a sure thing when you go to raise money. What we've done, I think, effectively is we've, we've taken, the, taken that 
off the table for ourselves, certainly through uh, the majority of this year. Uh, as we start to get to towards the end of the year, uh, and we, we have a, a fix on where our enrollment rate is, what the actual completion date will be um, in, the, in, the, in the financing that we just completed, uh, there were some warrants attached with that. Uh, and depending on what happens with our share appreciation, potentially an additional 10 or $20 million can come into the company. So, but right now we really don't see an immediate need to do any additional financings. Okay, now, as you mentioned before, there is other research on the drug um, in various countries. So is that gonna help with any of the um, submissions either globally or here in the US? Significantly. So essentially, all of the CMC package a, a vast majority of the safety database essentially our part of the of the NDA program will be putting in our phase three clinical program all the rest of the NDA is essentially already written so yeah it's a significant it's a significant advantage okay and are there any other um, upcoming milestones that investors should look forward to aside from the results at the end of the year uh, well, there's always, you know, updates as we go along vis-a-vis -vis other uh, corporate initiatives that we, that we, uh, that we take on. Uh, this drug, as I indicated, is, since it's, uh, there are over a thousand clinical references in the PubMed database, so almost every month there's a new article that's, that's published that shows additional utility of this drug in areas outside of the heart, in the brain, in the kidney, even in, uh, in the eye. So as, we, as those events happen, we would update the, the market on that. Uh, but clearly, you know, our, our, the, the significant milestones for us that the market would be interested in will be, you know, ongoing uh, updates as, as regards to where we stand from an enrollment standpoint. Okay, now are there any other final points that you want to investors know about your company? Well, I, you know, I, n not really. I mean, it, it, when, when you think about it, I think investors w should be interested in a couple things. Number one, it's, it's not very often that you go to, that you, that you move into phase two, uh, a phase two program with a million and a half patients that haven't already been treated. Uh, and a thousand clinical citations in the medical literature, S 60 countries worth of, uh, of approvals. So uh, I, you never want to say that a, that a program has been completely clinically de-risked, but clearly this is a program that has a monster amount of, of data, of clinical data that, that supports, the f that's the foundation of why we think this unique mechanism of action in this very problematic uh, patient population is going to be successful. Thank you. So again, this is Gabriel at the, with the Investing News Network at the Biotech Showcase in San Francisco. And thank you both for your time today. Thank you.